Hey kids, today we're going to read the story, Giraffes Can't Dance, by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. When we read the story today, I want you guys to pay attention to the mindset of the characters. Think about characters that use a growth mindset, and also try to think about how the characters are treating each other. Ready for the story? I know I am. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when, they, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. How about you? Do you have something that you're just not very good at? The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That's not very nice, kids. Remember we talked about how we treat others? That's not the way to treat them. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees to me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. And that is the story, Giraffes Can't Dance. All right, kids, well, at the beginning of the story, remember I said the word character, and I also mentioned our mindset? Well, in this story, there were characters, and they weren't so nice to others. 
we always have to remember that kindness and respect is what we show everyone around us. Also, we talked about our mindset. A growth mindset is something we should always have. A growth mindset means we work as hard as we can even when things are tough. And if we fall down, we get back up. If we fail a test, we try harder again. We keep studying. And in this story, Gerald had a growth mindset. He didn't just quit when he couldn't dance. He needed some inspiration and some help from others to give him some ideas, like the cricket. But you, like the cricket, can take some advice, work a little harder, maybe put on some different music, and you will make great things happen, just like Gerald.